Hey YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bryn and today I'm gonna to be taking you through how I do my waxing from home. Right now it's coronavirus lockdown time and hair is not reading the room, body hair is growing, it's out of control and obviously you can't go and get a wax because everything's closed. So what better time than now to learn how to wax from home on your own. It'll save you money in the long run, it'll also make you more self-reliant. I personally find it so much better because I can just wax myself, I don't need to worry about scheduling my whole life around an appointment where someone else is going to do it for me. I am in total control and I do all of my body waxing. Brazilians, arms, legs, you name it. I do my mustache, everything. If you're worried about pain, trust me, I, my hair is thick and I can tell you with 100% confidence that the pain from waxing at home, especially with these wax beans, is very minimal. And doing it yourself, I feel like you can just like you can just plan it on your exhales and take as long as you want. I have more arm hair than a lot of full grown men um, and it's dark and really curly and it gets really long. So I think this will really give you guys a good look at how to do it from home. And like I said, I do my own Brazilians and it's the exact same process. With no further ado, thanks so much for watching again. I'm so happy to share this with you guys. Um, and if you do like the video, please like and please subscribe. This is what we're gonna be using today. This is my waxing machine that I got on Amazon. Super cheap, super affordable, and it gets the job done. It came with these wax beans. This is my fourth or fifth bag. It's lasted me for about a year now. So I've, I have to say it was a really um, pretty good quantity that it came with. And then I had to stock up on the um, tongue depressors, AKA the wax sticks, because I think it only came with 10 or so and I use this thing all the time. Honestly, my hair grows so fast. So I have some leftover wax in here already. Honestly, I'm the only person that uses this thing. So um, if I leave wax in it, I don't really feel bad um, because I know I'm gonna use it. That's how I conserve it. And nobody else is gonna be contaminating it. So I'm fine with just letting it harden, as you can see on the bottom, and then um, adding new wax on top if I need to. So I'm gonna let this heat up for a little bit and check in in a little bit. This is too hot. It will burn your skin. It's not supposed to drip off really quickly. It's supposed to be thick, not like molten lava. So I'm gonna turn down the temperature just so it can thicken up a little bit and give it a few more minutes. All right, so this wax is looking much better. It's nice and juicy and thick and it's dripping a lot more slowly. So this is the consistency that we want our wax to be. I like to work in big sections, so I am gonna try to spread it across my arm in the direction of hair growth in a big section. So I always also do this just to prevent the strings of wax from dripping. And honestly, so painless. Tap it just to see how hard it is. This one's ready. Opposite direction, pull. Flick it up a little bit like that and there you go. Same with this guy, he's ready. And let's do a lengthwise one this time. Always rip it up, okay? Like, as in don't pull it out like an L. I'll show you. So I'm just gonna pull it like parallel to my skin, not perpendicular, okay? 
like that. And that is my arm hair. And then I actually, I always use the top of the lid and I just put my wax strips in there to keep things clean. Yeah, just keep, ew, <laughs> the wax one of my nose. But yeah, just keep playing around, practicing and pulling in the opposite direction of your hair growth, okay? And pulling per per parallel to your skin, just like that. Do it nice and quick. So I'm gonna make sure to throw that out as well as the stick. And then the wax that's left in there, I'm just gonna leave it, let it harden. Like I said, nobody else uses this machine, so I'm gonna melt it again my next, um, my next time that I do a wax. Here's the end results, guys. Considering that it's an Amazon waxer, I think it does a really good job. I've heard that using more um, high quality wax can make a really big difference as well because it won't be as stringy and flaky and crackly so that's something that I'm probably going to invest in in the future when I run out of this bag but for now I'm really happy whenever I do my Brazilians I always time it for around the uh, couple days after my period so that I can just start off my new month nice and fresh thanks so much for watching if you have any questions please feel free to comment I'll make sure to get back to you See you in the next video.